Um, it's so great to see uh, many of my customers here. Thanks for coming. It's a very big day for us. But first off, I just want to also frame our region in the context of everything that is being discussed today. In order to do this, I need to share with you the industrial internet maturity model. So what you would see on the y-axis is the sophistication and the maturity of your digital and data and analytics capability, starting from a very basic connect and monitor and all the way to a sophisticated prediction and optimization. And on the x-axis, you see a scope of deployment from very few critical assets to the whole fleet to the entire enterprise. Today, where we stand as a region is we are in the bottom left-hand side of this uh, model. Only 10% of your assets are connected, and only 3% of the data ever makes into any kind of analysis. To me, not having a connected asset is like driving a car with your eyes closed. Where we need to get to is the top right-hand side, where every single revenue-generating asset and every single operator operating that asset is not performing at an average level, but at a much superior level. Now, I understand it's a journey. You may be in different parts of these, uh, uh, this model, but one thing is clear. The time is here, and the time is now, and uh, we really need to get uh, started on this. That's where GE can help you. Now, if I take a look at what's going on globally with our different customers, we find a very interesting trend that is emerging. You know, the world leaders are also the early adopters of all these technologies. Now, I'll just give you an example for this. Take an example of Exelon in the US. They have assets in power generation, which is the most reliable. So people would ask, what is left for them to improve or grow? There's nothing really there. They are at 99%. But they are investing heavily. They are connecting all their assets to Predix, and they are committed to making a step change. Now, when I look at our region, we have some very big visionaries. We talked a lot about RASGAS today. Their name of the game is reliability. They want to take it from 98% all the way to entitlement. Um, so there is a significant uh, amount of progress that is being made there. If you look at uh, SAFE and Sapphire, our customers in Pakistan, they are our digital power plant launch customers in this whole region. What they are after is to improve the fuel burn rate, improve the efficiency by up to 4%. And that is a huge saving to the bottom line. I also want to talk about Engro. Engro is a multi-industry conglomerate. They do everything from um, power plants to fertilizers to even milk production. And they are going to wire their entire asset base, and they're going to eliminate friction from the process, more, drive more productivity and efficiency. So there is something that these customers know. You know, that is the reason they are pursuing this in a big manner. Now, as you are embarking on this journey, the most obvious question that comes to mind is, how can you engage with GE on this? So for this, let me start with the digital industrial stack. So what you see is the set of predicts and the apps that we talked about a lot today. In addition to that, I see three business models that uh, come up. The first and the foremost is, the basic subscription, where you just take the off-the-shelf predix and the apps like APM that we have and use it as is and just pay as a subscription. And this is much like you would pay Netflix to watch a movie. The next level is if you have a sophisticated IT team, you can develop your own apps on predix and uh, we'll even train your folks and you can just pay for predix. The final one is outcome-based, where you leave all the hassles of developing a software, hardware, services to us. We'll do all the dirty work. We just sh share the gains. So only GE, as a digital industrial company, with its strong balance sheet, can give all these three options. Now, I just want to wrap up this segment with a personal note. I've been with the company for 17 years, mostly in power generation. 
and I'm at a crossroads now. You know, I feel like I need to transform my own business and myself to stay relevant in today's uh, time and day. Now, I would say that uh, I, I want to remind you and I want to keep reminding myself that whoever is not jumping on these trends is doing so at their own risk. Having said that, I would like to introduce Colin Paris to talk about Digital Twin and thanks for your time.